Book 3, The POD Calendar. The current form of calendar we use to navigate the copious historical records in our archives is one derived from much study over many generations and has come down to us as being the most efficient mnemonic method to understand the general history of the current Pythagorean order of death. Even finding out why we are called Pythagorean requires some quick cross-referencing to materials describing the dates under consideration. And this presents the problem. The solution is, as you shall now see, a form of shorthand, combined meaning ideograms, each representing a roughly 2,000-year-long span of human history. The most convenient way to study the dated historical materials is to use these symbols to remember the events that occurred during that particular solar aeon, or 2,000-year-long span. Following a brief exposition on the system in general, I will present some contextual references for each from their own historical era. Because we use the aeons of the sun to count these spans of time, we measure according to precession. So we read backwards from the present to the past in the same order on the zodiac we would read forwards for the months in a year i.e. counting backwards from the date positive 4,000 year Pythagoras towards the present around positive 2,009 year Pythagoras then we would follow from Aries to Taurus the same as in reckoning the months of the main year lastly I must mention that this calendar is calibrated the same as the Atlantean and Lemurian calendars such that it reads from the northern hemisphere on the summer solstice for the year positive or negative zero year Pythagoras. Now I will return to the material at hand here. The POD calendar is given thus. To begin with, what we are looking at here is a simple circle divided into 12 equal parts, and each of these sections separated up into three sections, all denoting the same meaning. On the outermost ring, we have a series of ratios and titles. To make use of these, one must have already studied extensively the Seasons of the Pope document, available in the publicly published Atlantean Constitutions. The outermost ring of ratios refers to the rate of initiated executives to uninitiated executives during any given term of the seven chief executives of Atlantean democracy. In a group of seven, there are 14 ways the group's membership could break down if being stratified into two groups, initiates or non-initiates. These 12 ratios describe situations within the parameters of this comparison. The number of initiates to non-initiates within the group of seven chief executives of Atlantis. All of these 12 are doubles, each with some other, and these doubles reflect opposite comparative traits. The titles are simply mnemonic devices for remembering these ratios. The innermost ring is a list of six groups of seven and six groups of twelve according to the dominant population during the given solar aeon to which each refers. This pattern obviously forms a repeating cycle, but it is a corkscrew model of time, such that each cycle around we gradually progress one notch up. Thus the seven archangels of the Kamiya who ruled at the beginning of our oldest historical records are the same as the seven Zibalba Bay that will occupy the same position in the circular cycle one rotation around in positive 4,000 year Pythagoras. In the middle row of the three rings are the ideograms we in the modern Pythagorean order of death 
used to catalog the immense sum of all our historical lessons in one simple system. Each ideogram has two glyphs within one or a combination of two geometric shapes. The shapes derive from the ratios of the seasons of the Pope. The glyphs indicate a sign of the zodiac and one of the twelve planets, including Neptune, Uranus, Pluto, as well as two others, Nibiru and Tiamat, doubling for our sun and moon. If that aeon was governed by a group of seven, then the planetary influence rules, and if a group of twelve traits governed, then the sign of the zodiac will be displayed as superior. The glyphs and shapes are color-coded to the queen scale sequence of colors attributed to the twelve signs of the zodiac, the seven classic planets, and the three basic elements. Thus ends the crash course. As regards the names of each of these ideograms and the translation of the names, each name is one of the twelve Sumerian planets and the meaning of each name is one of the twelve Mayan Zibalba, gods of the underworld. On to some more encyclopedic type entries for each of the POD's measures of the solar aeon.